Cooking with your girl, Judy. Listen, y'all, today I'm going to stuff spaghetti squash. I'm going to stuff one of these. And who I got this from, who I saw do this, because I have never had stuffed spaghetti squash before in my life. I have never tasted it, but it looks good. And uh, who I got this from was Eating with K Cotton. She's a mukbanger. And not only does she eat, she cooks also. And uh, just the other day, her and her son Quincy were on, and they were cooking uh, turkey burgers and french fries that looked so good. And I don't even... Okay, eat. guys, I will cut off the phone ring. I don't know how much you lost me. But uh, Kay Cotton and her son Quincy were on cooking um, turkey burgers and uh, french fries. And they look so good. And I don't even eat turkey burgers. I had to go get me some turkey burger meat and uh, make me a turkey burger with a pretzel bun. So that was my dinner, too, yesterday my lunch rather but if you don't have eaten with k cotton go over and check her channel out she's she's good she's really good she eats and she cooks also okay now i'm gonna get back to my video and tell y'all about the squash stuff the squash stuff squash it's not a casserole but it's a stuffed squash rather i have two squash And I'm going to wash them up and cut them up and, and uh, olive oil them down, okay? I'll let you see me do that. I've got uh, chicken. Chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. Uh, sh cooked shrimp. These shrimp have already been cooked, so I won't have to cook them long. Uh, vegetables. I've got a zucchini, bell peppers, and I'm going to uh, put some jalapeno peppers off in them also. Okay, and uh, some little tomatoes, the little round red tomatoes. I have a few, so I'm going to stick them in there also, okay? Fresh spinach. I have Parmesan cheese, already uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put that in there. And I do have the mozzarella cheese also. Okay, now what seasonings I'm going to be using are going to be Chef Par Perdon, Seafood Magic, and the Meat Magic. Oregano, Onion Powder, Tony Zachary's Creole Seasoning. Garlic Powder. Minced Garlic. And I love this stuff here. I'm going to need some olive oil. And it's got basil in it, a basil leaf in it. So I'm going to uh, use this olive oil here, okay? Ground white pepper or black pepper, whatever kind of pepper you can find, you like. Kosher salt. And I think that's, oh, I know what else. I made some homemade Parmesan, um, not Parmesan, Lord, homemade Alfredo sauce. I made it up, and I have a homemade Alfredo on my page, on my channel. So if you would like to uh, go on my channel and look up the homemade uh, Alfredo sauce, you can do, do that. Or either you can buy it in a jar already made, okay? So... 
let me go away and get started on cutting my vegetables and cleaning my squash and uh, cutting it in half. It's going to be cut in half and uh, olive oil and salt on it and we put it in the oven. But I'll come back and I'll let you see all the things I do, okay? All right. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to cut this the long way in half, the squash. I'm going to cut the other one. It's sort of hard to cut. Okay. Okay, now. All right. And I'm going to dig the seeds out. Okay, I'm digging them seeds out of there. And I heard somebody say one time you can cook the seeds. But I'm not going to try by this being my first time doing a spaghetti squash. Okay. And this is my first time trying the spaghetti squash. It was so, it looked so good over there at K's, K Cottons, to where I had to have me one. Okay. See how I'm digging them seeds out? And I've already washed it off. So I guess now the seeds, after the seeds come off, out. I will have to go ahead and put some olive oil on it. Okay. I'm going to put the olive oil inside. Like that. Rub it in real good. Rub on the back side. Rub it in real good. Get it rubbed in on that back side also.
and this was such a lovely delicious looking dish the way I've had these uh, squash for about two two days and I've been meaning to get two of them and uh, now I am getting to them yes I am a little bit more olive oil on there. Okay. Now I'm going to put some pep salt and pepper on them. And I'm putting pepper. And I think I want to put a little onion powder oh no okay and a little garlic powder also Okay. And I'm going to put them on the pan like this. Turn them upside down. Okay. A little bit more olive oil. Of them, rub them in. Okay, and they will go in the oven. I think uh, it was uh, 350 for 35, 45 minutes. And I'm going to put my chicken pieces in also. Okay. I'm going to put a little olive oil on it. I'm going to put the meat magic. Papa Dome meat magic. To give it a little flavor. Okay? Now I'm going to let the chicken sit in there for about 10 15 minutes. And I'm going to let the squash sit for 35 45 minutes. Okay? I will be right back. Okay, guys, it's been 10 minutes. I baked uh, the chicken pieces in the oven. And uh, it's just a few, because actually I was going to do two squash, but I'm going to do four. So this is enough chicken to go in there along with the shrimp. Now, these shrimp are pink. They've already been cooked. They're jumbo shrimp. And I'm going to add, let me pour a little water off of them. I'm going to add... Now I had to shell them. They had to come out of the shell. But they were already cooked. And uh, I started to cut them in half. But I'm going to leave them whole. But I'm going to add now the Tony Zachary Creole season. So that they can be seasoned also. You want to season every layer of, of your food. And I'm going to add the seafood magic.
Okay? And I'm gonna mix them around. Make sure they're good and seasoned. All over. Okay? Now I'm going on the other start side and start frying my, uh, uh, mm, sauteing my vegetables. So I will be back. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what I got here. Wait a minute, first I'm gonna put the olive oil in the pan. Turn the pan on. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I got. I got my vegetables cut up. I didn't mention the onion over there, but you need an onion, a chopped onion. I got Valdelia onions, sweet Valdelia onions. Bell pepper, I got a yellow one, an orange one, and a green one. And right there in that little corner right there is my cut up uh, jalapenos. So I'm gonna stick some jalapenos in here. Give it a little kick, okay? And this is my zucchini. I did one, I didn't have, I had two out, but I did one. One zucchini. And this is my spinach, my fresh spinach. Okay? And the cherry tomatoes, I had like a handful of them, I cut them in half, okay? Let me start uh, start it up with the uh, minced garlic in my uh, olive oil. Okay, I think I put about maybe two tablespoons of minced garlic in. And it's smelling wonderful. If only there was smell of vision. Okay, minced garlic in. Now all my vegetables are going in. Well, hold on. Yeah, the vegetables are going in. And I didn't chop them up real tiny. I chopped them up sort of medium size because I don't want them to cook for a long time to get them all, all sauteed up real good. I want them to have a little crunch to them. Now I'm adding my zucchini. Okay. I'm going to saute these for about maybe uh, mm, 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 about five or ten minutes and I will be back okay now they've been sauteing now for about for about five minutes about five or ten minutes now I'm putting my tomatoes in and the spinach Now I'm adding my seasonings. Italian seasoning. About one tablespoon, I would guess. Onion powder. Garlic powder. A 
oregano leaves the crushed oregano anyway crushed oregano ground white black pepper white pepper What? Comment and um, hit the ball with um that two things. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna stir it around in there real good. I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. And the shrimp. Now the shrimp have, are already cooked, they're pink. All I'm doing is warming them, okay? I'm gonna saute them around for about another five minutes. And I will be right back. Okay guys, um, I started to strain it off, but I'm gonna lift it up out of the uh, the pan in, uh, with a slotted spoon. I'm not gonna uh, strain it. Just gonna get it up out of there with a slotted spoon. All this goodness. The shrimp. The chicken, the zucchini, the peppers, and uh, our uh, squash are still cooking. And uh, I think it'll be about maybe five or ten more minutes or until I can stick a knife down it in it and uh, it slides out good. Okay. Okay. That's everything that's going in the stuffing and uh, I found a bag of cheese in the refrigerator, which I'm trying to get rid of. It's some yellow, it's some Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. So I'm gonna stir this around in there real good. Okay, and I'm adding some John cheese to it also. Okay. Okay, see that cheese pulling from it? Yes. Okay, now we're waiting on our squash to come out of the oven, and uh, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm going to add uh, the Alfredo sauce. I forgot about that. I'm 
stir that around in there. Okay. And that's all the Alfredo sauce I'm gonna need. I don't want it too runny. And uh, that'll be it, okay? All right. Okay, guys. The squash has been sitting in the oven now for like 35, about 45 minutes, okay? I've let them sit and cool. They're cool so I can work with them. And I'm gonna dig them up and make that spaghetti. Okay. And this is really looking like spaghetti. Okay, let me let you look. Have a close look. Okay. And I'm gonna dig them all up. And take a fork and pick around in them and put it to the side because that's, we're gonna put our shrimp and chicken off in the middle of it, okay? So I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna dig up, dig them up and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I got them all dug up, all four of them. And I'm gonna push them to the side and I'm going to add, since the uh, chicken and shrimp stuffing has been sitting over there and it's been cooled off. Well, let me get some scissors and cut that open. I'm gonna add a little more cheese in it. And I'm gonna stir it around. Cause we're gonna have to uh, put this in the oven and cook it again, okay? And I want it good and cheesy on the inside, okay? I'm gonna add the shrimp and chicken Alfredo sauce, spinach, bell peppers, and uh, Zucchini on the inside. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be really, really good. I've got too much. And put that on the side, push that to the side there. And I tasted it, and it tastes good by itself. It tastes really good by itself. Trying to stuff it all in there. Okay, I got it all in there. Uh oh. I'm making a mess. Okay. I'm gonna add this 
mozzarella cheese on top. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the Parmesan cheese also. Let me get that right there. Okay. Hey, baby. Okay, and I'm gonna put them back on this pan. Stick them in the oven. Until the cheese melts. Okay. Alright, these are going back in the oven. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put some parsley flake on top. And a little paprika. Okay, I'm gonna stick these in the oven for about maybe five minutes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is my stuffed spaghetti squash. And it looks like a little boat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push that to the side there and pull this one up. I'm going to try this one. And already I've let my husband dig in it. He said it was good. We are enjoying this. I took a bite and he took a bite. And uh, it's good. It's really good. And uh, see there? There's a shrimp in there and chicken and uh, the squash, spaghetti squash. Mmm. And this is gonna go really good with some garlic bread. I got my garlic bread in. And I can eat off this for two or three days. Not really, about two days. Cause it's so much. And I thank you, K-Cotton, eating with K-Cotton, for uh, doing this video. I thought about it the whole time after you got through doing it. And uh, I love it. I could tell it was going to be good. Mm-hmm. Okay, now there it goes. A shrimp, spinach, and some of that uh, spaghetti. That spaghetti. This is really good. Mmm. This is delicious. I don't want to eat too much because I'm waiting for my garlic bread to come out. But y'all subscribe. Comment, subscribe, and like this video. And this is stuffed spaghetti squash. And, uh, Lord have mercy, look at the cheese pulling away from here. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna save the rest for my guard grip. Y'all be humble. Mm. and be blessed and y'all have a good day and Kay told me stop kicking people out your house she called me and she said stop kicking them out your house but y'all ain't got to go home 
But y'all gotta get out of here. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Uh-uh.